Mayroon po akong bagong laptop. Binigay sa akin noong Christmas, pero kamakailan lang nakarating. Pagbukas ko ng kahon, pagtanggal ko ng styro, pagtanggal ko ng takip, napawaw ako. Nag-text ako sa nagbigay at ang sabi lang niya sa akin, Father, yan po ang latest design. Latest design. May design yung computers. Hindi lang computers. May design din ang simbahan. Architecture ang tawag doon. Merong design ng city. Engineers ang gumagawa noon. Merong design sa kuryente. Merong design sa management. Meron ding design ang tao. What is the design of human beings? Computers, buildings, cities have designs. What is the design of of human beings. You will understand the design of human beings when you look at babies. Why? The baby at birth or for the first few weeks can see only around 7 to 9 inches from itself. Why 7 to 9 inches? Because that is enough distance to be able to see the baby's mother's face. Seven to nine inches is all that is required for the baby to see his mother. How long does the baby learn to walk? The baby horses can gallop in 24 hours. Human beings can walk maybe after 18 months, 2 years, 3 years. Pero ganun pa man, kailangan pa rin tulungan kumain sa toilet. Kailangan pa rin tulungan maligo until around 10 years old, 9 years old. Human beings have eyes. The eyes are always on front. Mas maganda siguro kung meron tayong mata sa likod para yung mga backstabbers dyan nakikita natin. But no! Our eyes were put in front because the design for us is to look at one another, to see one another. We are not able to walk right away because the design for us is to be taught how to walk. We are not able to see right away because the design for us is to see our mother first more than everyone else. In other words, my dear brothers and sisters, if you're going to ask me, what is the design of human beings? The design of human beings is relationship. All human beings want to be in a relationship. Kaya lang, pag sa Facebook ka nagsabing in a relationship at kami ni Monsignor Ding ang nagalagay noon, machichismis kami in a relationship. Pero ang totoo, in a relationship is the design of all human beings. We were not created to be alone. That is why in the book of Genesis, the writer said, It is not good for man to be alone. Let us make a helpmate for him. Because our design is relationships. These eyes were given so that we can look at one another. These eyes were not designed to look at backstabbers. These, these, these eyes are meant to look at one another, to see one another. These legs, this body, we were all designed to depend on one another. And then we grew up. We started to be independent. 
Sabi ng nanay, Malakas na buto mo, ayaw mo nang sumunod sa akin. Sabi ng mga magulang natin, Nagsasarili ka na, parang nakalimutan mo na kung saan ka nanggaling. Our destiny is relationships. Mayroong isang paborito akong writer at ang sabi niya ay lahat naman tayo magkakaugnay. Right now, you are far apart from one another. Right now, magkakahiwalay tayo. Hindi nga tayo pwede magdikit-dikit. Pero kung bibigyan tayo ng mata ng Panginoon para makita hindi lamang yung ngayon kundi yung kahapon para makita kung, kung, kung paano tayo sa kinabukasan, makikita natin na totoo yung awit, lahat tayo ay magkakaugnay. Our design is relationship. We were not created to be alone. Our design is relationship. We were not created to be separated. We were created to depend. We were created to learn. We were created to forgive. We were created to love and to serve. Yon ang sinasabi ngayon ng Ebanghelyo. Bakit nagkatawang tao ang Diyos? Because He wants a relationship with us. At ano ang pinakamabigat na dinadala nung ketongin doon sa gospel? That He could not be in a relationship because He has to be quarantined. He has to be isolated because He was considered dirty. My dear brothers and sisters, computers have designs. Human beings have designs also. And do not forget that in every human being, there is a design for relationship. There is a design to be touched. There is a design to touch. There is a design to embrace. There is a design to shake hands. There is a design to live together. Because God condemned living alone. We are born for relationships. And the great hurt of our time is relationship. The great ache of our time is relationship. Last year when we started the lockdown, natakot tayo magkasakit. Pero ngayon, ano ang nakakasakit sa atin ngayon? Na hindi tayo pwede magsama-sama. Hindi ka pwedeng magtawanan, baka may droplets na lumabas. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-shake hands, kasi baka malipat yung virus. Our relationships are hurting. And when COVID passes away, and the vaccine has caused herd immunity in our society, we would still be hurting because our relationships have been broken and we have been isolated and it hurts to be isolated. St. Paul teaches us that the church, this community, is the body of Christ. Anong ibig sabihin ng body of Christ? We are in a relationship. Magkakaiba tayo. Magkakaiba, pero magkakaugnay. And how are we right now? Some of us are following this Mass by Facebook live stream. We are connected, but we are not in a relationship. We are connected, but we do not know one another anymore. We are connected, but we are disconnected. We seem to be connected, but we are actually not connected. And we are all aching and hurting because we cannot be in relationships. We are the body of Christ. And we are designed 
for relationship. Those among you who are following us on social media platforms, I pray that there will be dissatisfaction in your heart right now because this virtual relationship is not the design of God for us. The design of God for us is that we live in relationships, we live in love, because at the sunset of our lives, God is going to ask us, did you feed? Did you visit? Did you console? Did you encourage? Did you give drink to the thirsty? And if all you can say is, I fed myself. I gave drink to myself. I consoled myself. I hurt. I helped myself. I consoled myself. The Lord is going to say to you, that is not what I meant. Because when I told you to give drink, to feed, and to console, I was pushing you to be in relationships. We are the body of Christ and our design is relationship. The leper was longing for it and God gave him the relationship he needed. And God knows that we were designed for relationship. That is why he came among us and he will express his love again for us today by entering into communion in a relationship of love coming in as food. Finally, my dear brothers and sisters, the church is not only the body of Christ. The church is also the bride of Christ. Kanina lang may kasalan dito at ako ho nagkasal. Lahat ng lalaki at babaeng kinakasal, guwapo at saka maganda. At kapag tinignan mo sila, there is only one expression, joy. To be in a relationship is to have joy for each other. To be in a relationship is to delight in each other. To be in a relationship is to be excited to see one another. Let us bring it back. The person beside you is not a COVID-19 carrier. Before COVID, he is your brother, he is your sister. And in COVID and beyond COVID, we are brothers and sisters. Let us delight in one another. Let us relate to one another. Hindi po ng Panginoon yung ketongin. Pero hindi hipo ng nadidire. Kundi hipo ng natutuwa. Hipo ng nasasabik. Paghipo dun sa ketongin ng tuwang-tuwa. To delight in the leper. To delight in one another. Magkakaiba tayo. Pero magkakaugnay. And our design is relationship. Tayo inilikha upang maging magkakaugnay. Hindi tayo nilikha para mag-isa. Nilikha tayo para sa isa't isa. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube. And I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies. And then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord.
It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the Church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.